Hello guys once again welcome to unknown world. Please don't forget to subscribe us. Also click on bell icon for latest updates. The Biltmore Hotel Florida The Millennium Biltmore Hotel opened its doors for the first time in 1923. The luxurious destination was built to cater for Los Angeles's high society, yet served many different purposes throughout its lifetime. The Millennium Biltmore Hotel hosted the Academy Awards from 1935 until the beginning of World War II, when it was repurposed as a facility to serve soldiers on leave with rest and recreation. The stunning hotel's interior has also made appearances across the small and silver screen featuring an entourage, fight club and the Slimer scene from Ghostbusters, which seems fitting for a building with such close links to the paranormal world. The glamorous and grandeur Millennium Biltmore Hotel is an impressive building with an even more impressive paranormal track record. Many believe it to be one of Los Angeles's most haunted buildings. Its infamy is in part spurred on by its association with one of America's most well-known, unsolved murders. Shortly before her death in 1947, Elizabeth Short was sighted at the Millennium Biltmore Hotel's bar. This is one of the last places she was seen alive before entering the infamy of becoming the Black Dahlia murder. Elizabeth Short's body was later discovered dumped on an empty lot of land, completely drained of blood, naked, mutilated, and cut completely in half by an incision dividing her torso. The murder captured the attention of the public, remains one of California's most recognized unsolved crimes, and ignited Black Dahlia ghost stories with the Millennium Biltmore Hotel at the Epith 80 with dark hair, wearing a black dress in 1940s fashion, have been made at the hotel. She is usually seen on the 10th and 11th floors, roaming through the lobby or riding the elevator to floor 6 before disappearing into thin air or walking through a wall. One man claims to have rode the elevator with this lady in black, only to see her disappear when they reached level 6. He was shocked to pick up a true crime book in a store a few days later and recognize the ghost from the elevator as Elizabeth Short. Though the Black Dahlia is the most famous ghost to roam the Millennium Biltmore Hotel's halls, she is not the only one. There have been numerous instances where sightings of a group of soldiers' apparitions have moved through the lobby, thought to be residual energy left behind from the hotel's history in World War II. Another spirit thought to haunt the hotel from around this era is the ghost of a female nurse who has commonly been seen on the second floor, where cots were set out for visiting soldiers during the war. The spirits of children have also been encountered within the Biltmore Hotel. Countless sightings of a little girl have been made, and many others have heard her footsteps hurriedly running along the corridors of floor 9, as well as her disembodied playful giggling. Another more disturbing apparition of a child is rumored to occupy the roof of the hotel. Some reports exist of people who have seen the ghost of a little boy on the roof who has no facial features present. Plenty more paranormal instances have helped the Millennium Biltmore Hotel build its haunted reputation. Both staff and visitors to the hotel have experienced phantom sounds of a party happening on the first floor, other unexplainable noises and voices, orbs of light, sudden temperature drops, cold drafts, and the feeling that an invisible presence is around. It's no wonder why countless staff have refused and fear working late shifts at the hotel. Thomas Fatty Walsh was a gambler, mobster and an associate of Dutch Schultz and Lucky Luciano. In March 1929 Fatty Walsh was murdered in a hotel room in the Biltmore Hotel in Florida. He now reportedly haunts the 13th floor of the Biltmore Hotel. That murder yielded a lot of ghost rumors over the years the 13th floor suite where Walsh was murdered is one of the most active areas in the hotel. Many witnesses over the years have reported they entered this elevator and hit their floor's button, but the elevator proceeded to ignore this and instead took them directly to the 13th floor. They all report that the doors opened to this floor's suite and then just stayed open, 